Ukrainian soldiers are facing heavy fighting as Russian paratroopers land in Kharkiv. The city of Kurzon has now fallen to Russian troops as Vladimir Putin launches sweeping offenses on strategic cities located along the Black Sea. CBS News' Jessica Moore is live in our newsroom with the very latest. Jessica. Well, Mary, the Russian assault is getting more violent by the day. Ukraine now says at least 2,000 of its citizens have been killed, and some of the country's most vulnerable are trapped and fearing for their lives. Ukrainian mothers in Maripol clutch their newborns as they're forced to move to an improvised bomb shelter in the basement of that city's maternity hospital. More civilians are being killed as Russia's brutal assault continues. Massive shelling is underway in Kharkiv, the country's second largest city. President Zelensky calls it a blatant campaign of terror. Russian forces escalating their attacks on crowded cities, targeting residential buildings. <laughs> Extensive damage and clashes on the outskirts of Kyiv. Ukrainian soldiers are bracing for an all out attack as Russians encircle the capital. Russia's defense minister warned troops plan to attack the country's intelligence infrastructure. Ukrainians are hiding in basements and shelters. Others are fleeing for their lives. The UN says close to 900,000 refugees have escaped to neighboring countries. Crowds at some border crossings are so large, people are waiting up to five days to get through. In Ukraine, it's like hell, so we are running. This man, who has an Egyptian passport, says police at a crowded train station in Ukraine tried to separate him from his family, as Ukrainian men of fighting age are not allowed to leave. In last night's State of the Union address, President Biden vowed Vladimir Putin would pay a price for his invasion. He thought he could roll into Ukraine and the world would roll over. Instead, he met with a wall of strength he never anticipated or imagined. He met the Ukrainian people. The U.S. has led the world in imposing crippling economic sanctions against Russia, but the White House says it will stop short of putting American boots on the ground. It is heart wrenching to be sure, but I will tell you the president is clear we are clear we are not going to put u.s troops in ukraine to fight the russians not on the ground and not in the air global businesses are also fighting back against putin now with apple boeing exxon mobile and ford all suspending operations and investments in russia president biden says sanctions on russian oil exports are still on the table but his priority is avoiding a spike in gas prices in the newsroom jessica moore cbs 2 news jessica thank you